I recently made a video about how to make uh, bleach at home and um, while digging online I discovered that the active ingredient in bleach that actually kills COVID-19 among other things is actually the same thing our white blood cells make which is called hypochlorous acid HOCl and so one of my subscribers suggested that I add some vinegar to the salt and uh, I'm working in the bathroom because I need the ventilation for this to be safe and so it turns out at a pH of about 4 the electrolysis process makes hypochlorous acid rather than the sodium uh, hypochlorite that is in bleach which is a lot more toxic than hypochlorous uh, but it's a lot more stable that's why you can't go to a grocery store and buy hypochlorous acid because by the time you take it home it will become inactive and so uh, I tried doing it with uh, bleach and salt uh, no, vinegar and salt sorry uh, the electrolysis and uh, the main problem with that is that vinegar is an organic compound obviously it also reacts with chlorine to make quite a number of side products which are in its own right toxic and so uh, I uh, discovered one way to avoid that is to use obviously uh, mineral acid rather than an organic acid so here I have muriatic acid which is hydrochloric now this stuff it is what percentage is it? You gotta be very careful working with this stuff. That's why I'm doing it in the bathroom and also be very mindful of, of treat it almost like you would treat bleach. Uh, it is what percentage? I know it has 12 molar, but I gotta see the percentage. 31.45%. Now, in order to have a pH of 4, because hydrochloric is a strong acid, you need 10,000, uh, one ten thousandth of a molar uh, hydrochloric acid. So I measured out about five uh, cubic centimeters of uh, that to a liter of water. I'm using a little bit more because not all of it will turn into hypochlorous acid. Some of it will volatilize, some of it will become chlorine gas and escape the whole system. And so I measured out a little bit of excess. And uh, the way we can see it works is that if you zoom in, so look look over here carefully, negative is uh, black, positive is red. If you look carefully, only the negative electrode will bubble. Okay, if you use too much, both of them will bubble at the same rate, right? The negative producing hydrogen and the positive producing chlorine. So now you can tell that hydrochloric acid is being converted into hypochlorous acid. Uh, anyways, uh, but the, the problem is this will not store very well, obviously, right? Uh, that's why you cannot buy hypochlorous acid at the store, right? So this is uh, for immediate use. Uh, at this concentration, at, at a pH of uh, 2 or 3, it's about as safe as vinegar in terms of handling. Don't let the warnings throw you off on the hydrochloric acid label. I wouldn't recommend ingesting this, though, because the stuff I got at the hardware store uh, has other impurities to it. That's why it's a little bit yellowish. I'm, I'm not sure if that yellow is because of chlorine or if it's because of uh, dissolved uh, minerals. So unless you have a way to distill this stuff first before you do this process, I would not uh, recommend ingesting it.